Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com It'd be great if you could click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, I'm going to make some pasta today, I'm using spaghetti. And I'm going to make an artichoke heart and cream sauce. Really simple. It's re I mean, it's one of my favourites. I really love this. Simply, we've got onions, garlic, salt, pepper. I'm using tarragon today, but you could use you know, oregano or something like that. I've got some finely chopped black olives, artichoke hearts, cream, and like I say, spaghetti. Use any pasta you like, penne, rigatoni, all work really well. So simple. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started on this uh, pasta we're going to make today with our artichokes and cream. Really, really simple. In here I've got a little bit of olive oil, which I prefer to use, but if you want you can use a corn oil or something like that. And we're heating that up. Now the artichokes that I'm going to use today, let's just take a quick look at them. There you go. These are actually from a can. You can get them in cans in, in, in a kind of brine or salted water. Or you can sometimes obviously get them, you've seen them possibly in jars, glass jars in an oil. Sometimes they're flavoured. And of course you can get them fresh if you want to deal that way. So today I'm using a canned variety. This is a really, really quick and easy dish. You probably want to start cooking your pasta now anyway, to be honest. Let's start off with getting a little bit of garlic in there. Now I've got about three cloves of garlic there, which I've chose to kind of chop fairly chunky and rough. Chop it really small if you like. Yeah, so probably get a nice big pan of hot water on. Get that to a lovely raging boil. Add a touch of salt and then get the pasture of your choice in. Obviously I'm going to be using spaghetti today as you know. Let's just get that garlic in there and infuse that oil. And then what's going to happen now is we're going to add a touch of salt. Some black pepper. And then I'm going to add some onion. I've got some chopped onion there. I'm using a red onion today. Use white or brown if you want. Okay, now, the herb of your choice. Today I'm going to be adding a little bit of dried tarragon. I really like that. I kind of think they go well with, you know, tarragon and artichoke goes well, especially with the cream we're about to add as well later. But go for oregano, oregano. Uh, basil, thyme, rosemary, marjoram, any of these work really. So let's get this cooked. I'm on a kind of fairly lively heat. Let's just cook this for a couple of minutes, get all that garlic and onions happening together. Keep stirring it. So there we go, we're just getting this together now. Looking fantastic. Now this is totally optional, I like to do this. I've got some black olives here, which I've cut really small. Chopped them up really small. I mean, maybe use green olives, I just prefer the black ones. And then we can go in with our artichoke hearts. Like I say, this is really, really simple. This is not gonna take us long at all. So let's just throw this around in the pan for like 60, 90 seconds. Again, getting some of that beautiful oil, our tarragon, our seasoning, and that garlic onto our olives and artichoke hearts, and then I'll be back. Super. Right, I'm gonna now add some cream. The cream I'm using today is a cooking cream. It's a thick cooking cream, like that. But if you want to use a single cream, it works just the same pretty much. So let's get this in and start mixing it. Now, of course, we've got dairy products in here now. So let's not take the eye off the ball. Let's keep going and keep stirring all the time. The heat is gonna, as you can see, loosen the thick cream and it will become pretty much like a single cream that's why you can use that as well if you wanted I'm not going to do this today but you could add some parmesan cheese maybe now or something like that that is entirely up to you but like I can say I'm opting out of that so let's just cook this again stirring all the time 
I'm going to lower the heat a bit now to a kind of just about a medium and we're going to cook this just like I say a minute or two max stir all the time then we're going to add our pasta okay like I say a couple of minutes that was we're just kind of loosening that cream and it's all kind of coming together now you want to check this for seasoning you might want to add a touch more salt or pepper that's up to you now what we're going to do is let's get some pasta in there so today I'm using whoop, spaghetti straight in and then we're going to just work our sauce and our pasta together with the heat still on cooking them and marrying them together stir 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 and get as much of that sauce into that pasta as you can so we're going to do this for about another minute or two minutes getting some beautiful heat in there and quite frankly that's done I really like this pasta I love artichoke hearts by the way anyway so it's, it's a, a no-brainer for me but that's it hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon lots of love